Good morning, my name is Lucas and this is Fortis Forums. Uh, what we're going to talk about today uh, on today's webinar is the local storage. Like uh, we receiving many queries from the installers how to um, create a backup of the recorder and it doesn't matter if there will be like a full channel uh, entry level recorder DVR, NVR or the high-end 96 series um, and beyond. So uh, like the idea is how to do it. Obviously the first you no know, that might co come across your mind is the cloud storage. The cloud storage it's great it's fine but it's quite expensive as well. Um, so if you're looking for a, like a reliable solution but much less expensive obviously the second recorder on site like a, as a backup storage would be the way to go because you just need to pay uh, whatever new recorder uh, on the top that you currently have on site and then you just fill it up with the hard drives fully loaded with the hard drives and you can have as much storage as you want um, in the case of when you have cloud storage you rely on the internet connection the internet connection might not always be um, available for you there might be an outage there might be uh, any issues with the speeds so that all the data might not be sent properly uh, but when you have second recorder on site and like i said it doesn't matter how big is your site how big is the or small the the the, the setup is you can always so, you know, make a gap, make a backup of any recorder. So even the full channel, eight channel, sixteen channel, whatever you have there, you can make a storage backup for this recorder. I will show you today how to do it, how to make it work. And it's really simple, especially with the latest recorders, with the latest firmware. It's really straightforward. Back in the days, um, streaming from one NVR to the other NVR wasn't that easy, but now these days. Uh, with the latest firmware with the latest recorders it's really really simple and i will show you how to do it how to set up that kind of backup um, like i said when you have the local backup on site and um, you don't rely on the internet connection the the connection is always there and, and if you have like one recorder in the cabinet and a second recorder and a second recorder in a different time no, different place in the building or a different building altogether it could be connected via the fiber link maybe or just a you know cut five in between that's fine but once it's on the local network it's much safer for you and of course you can do it remotely as well uh, but again if you're gonna do it remotely uh, you need to open the ports and you need to have the rely connection as well uh, that you know it's always gonna be 100% for you available so usually it's a, like a dedicated broadband just for this type of the connection uh, so let me let me show you the recorders I have. I have two recorders. Uh, they're behind me right now. Uh, they look exactly the same behind me, but uh, there's one I series recorder and one K series recorder. So we're going to stream from the K series those three cameras that you have on the PoE at the back of the recorder. We're going to stream them directly to the second recorder, and that kind of makes the backup of the whole storage you have there. So if something's going to happen to my K series recorder always the AI series will have a backup or you can do it the other way around if you like that's that's not a problem but whatever the main recorder and um, it could be stolen it could be you know burned out or whatever whatever happened to that first unit if you have the second one in place everything will be still safe there and all the recordings that you stream from the first recorder will be will be there so let me let me go back to you to, to the page I'm just going to show you via the web browser how simple it is and how to do it quickly so let me go ahead to my monitor here so you see here this is the ds7608 nik2 with eight poe ports at the back of the recorder so you can see uh, there's eight poe ports uh, these days um, when you have the cameras connected at the back of the recorder by default they're plug and play but there's a cool feature on on the latest nvrs that you can turn on and off the plug and play method uh, for that poe at the back of the recorder so it makes it uh, like a simple switch and um, so it would it would be a poe switch of course but it would power up your cameras and it doesn't have to assign those ip addresses from the back of the recorder if you don't want to or you can extend that to another switch that's another different story but in this case like you see here i have four cameras one of the cameras is a dual stream camera it's the thermal camera so i have all four connected at the back of my recorder if i go to my uh, second recorder 
like you see, it's a simple, again, DS7608 NII2 forward slash 8P. Again, it's the 8P, 8PoE port recorder. Um, it could be the same as 9664, 96258 channels, if you like. That doesn't make the difference. It's still going to be working the same way uh, if you do the simple setup, setup like this one or if you're going to set up the high-end recorders. So on the second recorder, what I need to do, um, I need to go to the camera management. Like you see, I already turned off all my PoE ports at the back of the recorder, so I don't have anything listed. Um, so there's no plug and play port anymore. Like you know, at the top of the page, obviously you know the IP address of your recorders. In my case, one, it's ending with 102. That's my second, that's my backup. And 101, it's my main unit. So in order to add the cameras from my main unit to my second unit, to my backup unit, uh, I just click the add button and just type it in the IP address of that recorder. So 101 is the main unit and we just enter the password. Hoping the password is right. Um, so after clicking OK, the system is going to ask you if you like to enroll all your cameras or just part of your cameras. So in this case, we only have a few cameras here. So let me let me go ahead and select those four cameras from this unit and just click OK. So that was, um, after starting connecting right now, so I can refresh the page. And here you go. All cameras are recorded now to the second unit. This is that simple, I know. And even if those cameras are on the PoE switch at the back of the main unit, they still will be uh, streamed to the second unit on the local network, even if they are totally on a different range altogether. So like you see here, this is the IP address of my um, main recorder, main NVR. Every single one of them is streamed. So you see, all of them are here exactly the same. So if I go live view, I should be able to see them all if my plugin allow me there. Here you go, so all cameras up here. Uh, so if I like to, I can make it something uh, really odd now. Uh, it's gonna be like an uh, inception. Like I can stream it all the way around. So if I like to stream those backup camera to the, my mainstream, if you like, I can daisy chain the whole setup if I like. And I can just add the cameras for my second recorder to this recorder. So that makes the kind of a setup like you have multiple recorders on site and you like to make it back up to one big unit like for example the 256 channel recorder so you can have 10 different recorders across the um, across the business uh, like it could be the industrial estate and you have recorder in each one individual um, building and then stream them back directly to um, to the main unit to the huge backup unit so in this case I can do like 182.168.178 uh, and trying to stream the cameras from the backup recorder and see if that will work. So there it is. Uh, if I'd like to stream it, again, it's going to ask me if I like to stream those channels. So I'm going to stream those channels that I stream back and forward. And here you go. I'm just going to add them back to this recorder. And I'm just going to refresh the page now. So you see, I have all eight channels and uh, duplicate themselves and back and forward to two different uh, from two different recorders um, and again if i like to do it here as well i can stream those back to cameras back again here it makes a bit uh, confused now but just to make it simple and straight you just need to know the ip address of the main unit it has to be on the same lan network and you need to know the port uh, using that and password once you have those details uh, you can stream all the channels or particular channels if you like from that recorder. Uh, like you see, it's very simple. And what is the advantage of that setup? Like I said, it's a local storage. Uh, you don't need to use the broadband connection. Um, every single camera, it's back it up, and you can you can have exactly the same quality. The, usually, the problem with the cloud storage is that there's always uh, only a substream that is streamed, or there's only the event that will be streamed to the to the cloud to save your storage space on the cloud. Uh, like I said, it's quite expensive and you need to rely on the internet connection and it's it's the substream usually, which is not the best quality. Uh, in the case when you have the second recorder on site, 
as a backup storage. You have the best quality, so it's exactly the same stream that is displayed on the main unit is going to be recorded. And um, one off payment, so you just buy a recorder with a lot of storage and that's it. And you don't rely on an internet connection, it's just the local network. So you could have a different part of the building, or if that is one building, like in a house, uh, you can have one in the cabinet somewhere and the other one in the attic. Um, so, you know, it makes it more secure, more safe for you. And, you know, and you can both access, you know, over the internet if you need to. So you can have the main unit connected to your HIC connect and log in remotely, or you can log in uh, to the second unit if something happened to this uh, first one. So, like you see, it's, it's really simple. And um, I hope, you know, um, I answer some questions. If you have any more questions, um, please ask in the comments below. Um, of course, if you're looking for a setup like this, or you've been always wondering if you know, it, it's possible, of course it is. So you can stream DVR to NVR. You can these days stream DVR to DVR if you like, uh, by just turning off all the analog channels. Uh, you can do so much with this equipment these days. And it's so powerful and uh, the combinations of different um, scenarios, different machines, connections, they're like, you know, this is up to your imagination right now. So um, if you'd like to uh, contact our sales guys, uh, they will obviously have all the recorders in stock and you can you can ask them to, to order a backup recorder for you or right, for a customer. And, and then if you struggle with the setup, you can play back the video again or you can just uh, call our tech department and we're gonna answer all your questions. So thank you very much for watching and next week I have uh, another uh, Paxton integration. Uh, these day, this time it will be a, a minimal integration with Paxton. So I can't wait for this one. Um, for that uh, today is that's all I have for you. So uh, thank you very much again and I'll see you next time. Stay awesome as always. Thank you very much. Bye.